Well, am I about to steal someone's man today? Maybe. Lock them up. back to the channel so for this video i basically i'm not trying to scare you guys i'm looking like this but i wanted to do a kind of in-depth um tutorial kind of video this time around and i've got a few people asking me about how to contour um and how to do like a really natural um eye look using some like browns and like whites so I said, you know what, I'll just put it all together in one video and show you guys how to do that and my take on it per se. Um, and this look, honestly, it can be for any occasion. You want to go out and look cute, you can wear this. You got a dinner date or a date in general, you can wear this. You have a party, you can wear this. Even a wedding, you can do this for a wedding. And I'm going to link all the products that I use in the video down in the description and if you have any questions regarding them or regarding the products that you can use as a dupe to any of these you can ask me and I will surely let you know. I already did my foundation um, and concealing and all that. I did my brows, um, very minimal on the brows. I'm so happy they're growing back. Yes, that's why I look really like washed out and like no color, um, but we're gonna change that. Contouring used to be um, really frightening for me because I was really scared. I didn't wanna like overdo it and look absolutely crazy. Like I had a line of like brown on my face and it just looked muddy. I know a lot of people who still have that fear and that's why they stray away from contouring but they are kind of curious and interested in how to do it. So depending on how you want to shape your face with your contour, that's how you're going to apply it. So me, I basically have, um, my face kind of looks a little bit more like angle today. I started doing my contour and how I learned to do my contour and it looked perfectly fine. Your The top of your ear is kind of where your natural, um, I guess, cut to like your cheekbone is pretty much. So here is basically where you can apply your contour. Just add a little bit depending depending on the color of your contour so about right here and again this is a stick so you're just going to apply a little bit i kind of already know where i want it and again you still i still have that kind of um like curve in the way that i want it because i applied it that way okay please don't take the stick and like block out your cheek it's going to be incredibly disastrous use a dense brush so a brush that's kind of stout and a bit stiff because if you do use like a super like flimsy um fluffy brush for a cream it's really not going to do you much good like stippling motions just to get it kind of in the process of blending bring it down and I have round cheeks, like I'm storing walnuts in them. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, see how it's kind of disappearing? We want it as natural as possible and I bring it up. What I do with my contour, I just go higher up. I don't really follow out my ear that much anymore. I went a little higher because I just felt like it did a little bit, um, a little bit more for me and my face shape um but that's just me i like to do this with my nose too um again this is optional a lot of people are kind of oh i went so crooked with that um i never really was into this but i kind of like it now again you can do this with cream 
powder or you can do the combo of both. I'm gonna show you the combo of both because that's just how I've been doing it recently. It's really embarrassing that um, my palette looks like this now because I was using some neon pigment um, before and it got all in the in the palette so now it kind of looks dirty and junky but um <laughs> i use these two colors usually um i try not to go no darker than that because i do have a fair skin tone if you are a darker skin tone of course you're gonna have to go a little bit darker with the contour just so you can achieve those shadows that you're looking for and trying to reach I go in with this kind of um I don't want to say cocoa it's kind of like a beige sand color okay and i'm going to put some on the brush and tap off excess that's super important and i'm going to go in the area that i placed the cream stick contour and again i'm going to go all around my head and face okay because you want everything to look in unison all right okay and using that same color that we use for our face we're gonna go in and we're going to buff out this cream contour and what I like to do is bring the contour up into the brow and eye crease i feel like it gives it a bit more um definition to the face as well as the bridge of your nose it kind of gives it a spotlight yes my nose is right here this is where it should be and you look snatched i have a cream blush here so i'm just going to apply it high up on my cheekbones okay this is the thing with blush a lot of the times people tell you to apply it to the apples of your cheeks so when you smile you see the little oh like i'm blushing we want our face to be youthful we want it to look youthful like rejuvenated okay like we're uplifted we don't want it to be like droopy and saggy and looking like oh my god like wow like we know you have blush on you know all right, and if you're like me, you wanna have a little bit of color everywhere. I go right above my cupid's bow and right where I applied that line, I literally just patted it to my skin. I honestly feel like this gives a more natural, useful look. And when you stipple in your product, especially um, on your face, it lasts a bit longer. I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow primer and I'm just going to I center it like right on the center of my lids. Taking this, we're going to take this color right here. Okay, not too dark, not too light. And we're going to take it on a eyeshadow brush. This is a dual end one. Um, I'm taking uh, the fluffier end of it. And we're just gonna focus that in the crease of our eye. Wherever that crease on your eye may be, you're going to try to focus that shadow there. Oh, that looks delicious. Look at that. We already got a nice shadow created. And now what we're gonna do, we're going to deepen up the shadow we're gonna go in with this little this little guy right here it's a little bit of sparkle but again if you don't like sparkle that's fine but well, we're just gonna go for it okay because why not at the end here it makes a bit of a difference okay it gives the eye some dimension now that i kind of got a idea of how i want to lay the shadow i'm just bringing it a little bit into the crease of the eye that we created pink in the camera but it's not actually that pink and it's not going to show up on my skin really pink so i'm going to go into that and this is with a 
fluffy brush. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna soften up the edges of this dark shadow so it doesn't look so harsh. And you can use a slimmer brush if that's what you have. That's completely fine. Just something that you're gonna have control over and that will pack on that shadow so you can get a softer look. I'm gonna go in and do what I'm not supposed to do. You're not really supposed to use concealer on your lids because your lids are naturally oily. I wanna show you guys um, how I'm making this crease. We're gonna go in with this kind of ivory white champagne color and we're going to coat that brush with that and we're going to place it on the area where we put that primer or unfortunately concealer okay and because i am me i like glitter so i'm going to apply some of this disco queen glitter to my eyelids and this is an elf liquid glitter um oh it's gorgeous oh yes that gave delicious look at that glitter so i'm just taking a white eyeliner and carefully applying it and using the same brush from before is fine. We're gonna take that light color that we used, the first brown, and we're gonna go right on our lower lash line. Okay, we don't want the liner getting lost. So we want it to look like a complete look, okay? If you guys are really trying to go all out for your um, occasion, like, you're gonna pop out okay so i'm taking some of my setting powder and i'm taking a beauty blender and i'm going along top of my ear and kind of bringing it down so whatever was left over on my sponge from cutting my contour i'm just lightly just tapping it into the areas of my skin that I do not want um, to be shiny and oily, which I'm very oily as it is. So I'm going around the areas where um, I know I'll get oily. So I'm just kind of tapping the powder into my skin. I'm gonna take an eye um, eyelash primer. It's a mascara primer, so it's just a, like a white, kind of clear kind of thing um just to prep my lashes so i can get that maximum color payoff and volume that i really want this is a super um kind of thick dense wand and i'm going to coat the lashes and what i like to do when i apply my mascara i twirl the brush and kind of blink i'm just going on my lower lash um my lower lash line and just carefully getting my lower lashes and i haven't dipped my brush back into my mascara either now i'm really a big fan of like the doll like lashes so i really like my uh, mascara to be kind of like super extreme um if that's what you think it looks like <laughs> take that setting powder off I'm going to line my lips. So this is just a liquid uh, matte lipstick. Okay, this is a, like a bubble gum kind of pink. Um, and I'm just pressing it in with my fingers. Guys, so this is the finished look. I hope that you learned something today or that you use some of these techniques. Again, it may not be for everyone, but if you give it a try and you like it, 
I guess I did my job, okay? All of the products will be listed in the description below. And if you do have any questions pertaining to any of them, please comment down below and tell me what's your favorite part um, about this look. Until so next time, you guys at thebomb.com. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.